Hey everyone, welcome to Daily Dose of Medicine. In this video, we will talk about Collis fracture. It is also known as distal radius fracture. And the fracture is named after Abraham Coles, who described it in 1814. The term Collis fracture is often used eponymously for distal fractures with dorsal angulation. Distal radius fractures are often caused by falling on an outstretched hand with the wrist and dorsiflexion. I will explain what is dorsiflexion and this is causing tension on the volar aspect of the wrist causing the fracture to extend dorsally. Yeah, this is dorsiflexion but it can also occur as a result of trauma such as occurs in a car, bike or skiing accident. And this condition is commonly seen on elderly women because after menopause, the estrogen levels decrease a lot and that can cause bone fractures. And this condition is connected to decreased bone mineral density. Thus, it can be an early sign of osteoporosis and therefore an increased risk of nerve fractures. On question, you can see dinner for deformity, and it is seen and called a fracture. And the symptoms may include pain, swelling, deformity, and wheezing. And the doctors should check on the damage for the median nerve. For diagnosing it, doctors will give you a true physical exam. And for confirming this diagnosis, they can use x-rays. This is ulna and this is radius. And these fractures are commonly seen in distal portion of radius. For treatment, it is really depends on the severity. And on this place fracture may be treated with a cast alone. And if it is severe, it may require surgery. For prognosis, and this recovery time depends on many factors, for example, age, severity, and it may range from two months to a year or more for complete recovery. Lastly, what is the difference between Collis fracture and Smith fracture? Smith fracture is caused by a direct blow to the dorsal forearm. Or falling onto flex wrists. Flex wrists is important because collis fractures are happening because of falling onto wrist and extension. And Smith's fractures are less common than collis fractures. And thanks for watching. That is the end of the video. If you find it helpful, please consider liking, commenting, and sharing with your friends. Take care.